questions? All right, seeing no other questions, tonight the board is going to act on the 2013-2014 tentative budget, and I'd like to go through a brief presentation. First, in terms of the calendar, what we've been up to over the past um, few months, this process begins in October, and uh, with all of our budget managers developing budgets at their, at their level, then in, in December, I and, uh, and Mr. Mahmood go through it, uh, we utilize the um, committee process, so the board has an opportunity to explore each of the areas that, um, that they're responsible for. And then we receive our state aid on February 28th. And um, this Saturday, the operations committee met for about six hours to, um, to develop the tentative budget that we're going to share with you uh, this evening. Uh, we know it's a tight time frame. This is not a time frame of our making. This is a time frame that is required uh, by the state of New Jersey. Uh, tonight, uh, the board will be considering the tentative budget. On March 13, the operations committee will meet again to um, present a finalized budget based upon any feedback that they receive at this meeting to the board for action on the final budget on March 21st. At that point, that's our public hearing, and the board will finalize our budget. Um, as all of you may remember, we do not have a school budget election any longer, and the action that's taken on March 21st will be final in our district. So in terms of the program improvements, how we're funding our strategic plan, what's included in this budget is um, the expansion of the Chinese program to um, both Aris and the high school. We're going to be implementing the third phase of our one-to-one -one, uh, technology pilot, which allows students to have an individual device, either an iPad or a Chromebook, to have with them during all of their instructional uh, activities, as well as take it home. Currently, we have 10% of the students at ARIS, the middle school and the high school, have these devices. We'll be doubling it for next year, 20%. We'll be implementing a new teacher and administrator evaluation model. This summer, a new law was passed called NJ Teach, or Teach NJ, and that law required a change in all um, teacher and administrator evaluations, and we'll be implementing that next year. We're also going to be considering an energy savings improvement plan, which allows us to do large capital improvement projects and finance it with the energy savings that those things will generate without raising taxes or asking to pass a referendum. We are currently under a, uh, a uh, legal cap of the tax levy. We cannot raise it any higher than 2% from the previous year. 2% of this past year's general fund tax levy uh, is $1.5 million. This proposed, um, or this tentative budget, is coming in at $425,000 below that. In terms of how this affects the tax rate, the tax levy is increasing by, um, by about a half of a percent. The 2012-2013 um, tax levy is, is, is there, and you can see the, the increase um, to next year's tax levy. And by the way, that includes general fund as well as debt service. The tax rate will be 1.467. That's on $100 of assessed property value, which is about a, a penny and a half increase off of last year's tax rate. What does that mean in terms of dollars? The average homeowner is assessed in Hillsborough Township at $368,700. The increase would be $53 for the year. This may be difficult to see, but this is a chart that shows um, your assessed home values from $100,000 all the way up to $700,000. Highlighted there is the average for our township, and you can see how the, how the tax rates change. Hillsborough is not the only township that is part of our taxation. Mill Millstone Borough um, is also part of it. <clears throat> Their tax levy is actually decreasing by a fraction of a percent. Their tax rate is 1.525 uh, on $100 of assessed property value, uh, increasing by about three and a half cents. 
The reason that their tax rate is actually increasing, yet the tax levy is decreasing, is because their rateables, or the taxable properties in Millstone, actually went down by 2.45%. That led to an increase of the average homeowner in Millstone, which lives in a home uh, that's valued at $320,748, will see an increase of $117 for the year. This again is a similar chart to what we, we saw in Hillsborough, showing the assessed values from 100,000 to 700,000. Some of the cost drivers that we, um, we always wrestle with are health care. Um, we're anticipating an approximate 15% increase uh, in future years. Having a double digit increase in health care while you're capped at 2% is always a significant challenge. Um, we're funding different areas of our strategic plan, which is also driving our costs, and we'll be funding additional capital projects. And I just want to um, pause for a moment and let Mr. Mahmood explain um, the projects that we have within next year's budget. Thank you, Dr. Schiff. The uh, first project that we have slated under capital projects is a project that will be funded through a withdrawal of monies through capital reserve. So it's going to be funded from a withdrawal, but it will be listed and embedded in this budget. That project is the Amsterdam, uh, there's a storm drainage project that needs to be done at Amsterdam. The first project that's being budgeted out of 1314 out of the operations budget or the operating budget is the Woodfern parking lot. It's a paving project. We also are going to work on, at the middle school, we're going to renovate the industrial arts room for the phase one conversion of the STEM program. At Woods Road, we're actually we're going to uh, repair the roof or the exterior walls for the gymnasium. At the Triangle Elementary School, we're going to do a repaving project of the playground. Right here at Auten Road, we're going to look at the second floor roof and we're going to address active leaks at the skylight. At H. Uh, Hillsborough Elementary School, at the Amwell, Amwell Road hallway, we're going to actually change the entire floor. And at Sunnymead, we're going to address uh, outdoor lighting because it is dark uh, after, uh, when it gets dark at, uh, late at night there is some, some lighting issues at Sunnymead. And that concludes all the projects that we're doing. Thank you, Mr. Mahmoud. Just to give a, a little bit more uh, meat to the scaffolding on funding of the strategic plan, we plan on hiring two additional Chinese teachers, one for the high school, one for our school, um, two additional special education positions, as well as <coughs> Um, a few job coaches, which are instructional aid positions to help our, um, some of our children transition well into, um, into vocational activities. We are also looking at funding two additional tech positions that help out with software and hardware issues, as well as three training positions for, um, for technology. Uh, these are positions that will help us to address our um, strategic planning needs. We also have within the budget uh, additional clerical positions, including a um, uh, clerical support and transportation, as well as curriculum, and, uh, and in the athletic office as well. Some areas of cost savings. Now, even though cost healthcare was a cost driver, uh, this particular year we changed healthcare providers as a result of doing that, uh, saving the um, the taxpayers a, a good amount of money um, without compromising healthcare coverage for our employees. We do every year shared services and cooperative purchasing to make sure that we are using our funds efficiently, and we continue to generate revenue through grant writing as well as a very successful program for our kindergarten students called Children at Play. Um, this will be the second year. We actually increased uh, enrollment. We, we almost doubled enrollment year two from year one, and we're anticipating going from about 56 kids close to 80 children next year. So um, that helps to offset other costs. But the largest efficiency that we'll be seeing 
is um, the efficiency in transportation. Our transportation director worked with, um, worked with Mr. Mahmood and others in, in developing a transportation efficiency report. That uh, efficiency report was presented to the Board of Education and adopted. Um, the change that occurred as, as a result of this report was that the middle school would be starting a half an hour earlier. Just by moving that school a half an hour earlier allows us to save close to $900,000 over next year. What I have in front of you is an analysis of state aid over the past five years. In the year 2009-2010, our state aid was $26.2 million. Then there was a fiscal crisis in the state of New Jersey and a significant reduction in state aid. It went from 26.2 to 21.1. That's close to a 20% reduction. As a result of that reduction, we uh, released 66 staff members that year. In 2011, 2012, we began to come back up at 23.2 million. Last year, or I'm sorry, current year budget, we had about 25 million, and then for all intents and purposes, we are flat for um, this year. Um, this illustrates that we are still below where we would have been in 2009, 2010. The board is always interested, I'm sure the public is too, at looking at comparative data. How well do we do relative to other districts? When we take a look at the most recent comparative data um, from the Taxpayer's Guide to Educational Spending, updated in July of 2012, our total budgetary per pupil cost is at 12,728 below significantly both the state spending as well as like districts. We are part of a district group, K through 12, with 3,500 uh, 3, students or more. When we take a look also at total administration at cost per pupil, we continue to spend less than where we are in the state as well as like districts as well. So what does the budget look like? Our general fund is going from 107.8 million to 109.4 million. The difference there is an increase in 1.48% uh, in the general fund. Grants and entitlements are monies for the most part that we receive from the federal government. This is uh, a 25% reduction, which is part of the sequester planning. As some of you may know, the government is looking at making reductions to spending. Our spending for grants and entitlements, we are anticipating to be 25% less than what it was uh, in current year. Our debt service is also coming down a good amount. That's because we're retiring a, a significant note. That note is about $800,000 yeah, or so. Approximately, approximately. Right, as well as um, some amortization of, of additional loans. The total change in our budget is an increase of one-tenth of one percent. Some key points, this tentative budget is coming in at $425,000 below cap. We see a slight increase to the property taxes for the average homeowner of Hillsborough Township, increasing by, by $53. However, even with flat uh, state aid, due to the efficiencies that we've generated, we're not just maintaining, but we're improving and addressing the needs of our strategic plan. I appreciate your attention. I'll entertain any questions from the board.